My parents and my two sisters and I immigrated from Germany in 1937. In 1938, my father bought the hat company. The business was a very small, tiny family business. And my grandfather would go on the road, traveling, selling, and my grandmother would pull orders from the warehouse. I met this very nice man in college, and I married him, and my father offered him a job. You know, it's a family business. After my father passed away, Neil took over the company. We made a lot of progress. We needed to grow and really didn't have the money to grow. So we took a loan out for $150,000 in, I believe it was in September. And in December, Neil died of a heart attack. When my dad died, it was obviously uh, all hands on deck to try and survive. My mother said she'd pledge her house. And then when Neil died, what am I gonna to say to my mother? You know that house that you've been living in for 40 years? It's gone. You gotta move. Can't do that. We got to a point where things were really, really bad. Yeah, at this time it was it seemed like what well, the best thing to do was sell the business. We found this person. He said, I will buy the company, but I don't want your whole zipper inventory. And you have the SBA loan. You carry the SBA loan. And I'll give you $1,400 for what all you have. So for $1,400, I told him, you know what? I'll run in the ground by myself. Originally, the company was built on taking a problem and having an innovative solution. It's the same today that we need to be focusing on innovation, being different from our competitors. If you do your best today, maybe tomorrow you do better.